Okay, I am trying something a little new here because I want to actually go online with you. And so I want you to be able to see my screen. Um, and so I'm not sure how to do it. I'm using a very simple video software. And so what I noticed is on Zoom, when you do a Zoom meeting, you can share the screen. So you can switch between the camera and the screen. And so that's, uh, I'm gonna make the video. And you can also record your Zoom session. So I am doing a Zoom session with myself so that I could record it and share it with you. So, um, so uh, here, this uh, is, we're gonna pick out a home. And so we're gonna go shopping for a home online. And this should be fun. This is kind of the fun thing about the mortgage project. This is why this is more than just a mortgage worksheet, okay? Because you're actually gonna go online and find a home and not just any home, but it needs to be a home that you can afford. So you have that maximum monthly payment from question number one. So in question two, it says go online, find a home. Um, and so we're gonna do it online. Uh, the mortgage project says either go online or use a realtor magazine. And I suppose you could still use a realtor magazine it, as long as you can get the page and, and take a picture of it. Um, but this is, uh, I'm going to show you kind of how to do this online. And this is one of the three things. So when you submit the mortgage project, you're going to do that on Canvas. And you're going to need to take three pictures, one picture of the front page of your mortgage project, one picture of the back page, and then one page with the home that you picked out that you're going to, um, that you're going to use for the mortgage project. So to do this, there's several websites. There's probably a lot of websites out there. So the ones that I'm kind of familiar with is realtor.com, zillow.com, and truilla.com. And there's the web addresses. Um, any of this is very, very easy to find using Google. So we're gonna start there. I'm gonna go to Google here. So I'm gonna share my screen. And this is what I'm gonna share. Okay. So if you have Google up, really all I type in here is like real estate. So um, real estate. And you'll get several pages. If you see here, realtor.com came up first. And I guess I'll let it know my location here. Realtor.com. It probably wants to know the location because it'll bring up uh, homes that are in your area. Um, it's pretty amazing. So realtor.com, Zillow is one. And this is actually a map. Probably these places are different places that have homes for sale. Um, there's Truilla and probably other websites as well. So, um, well, why don't we just go, I'll go to the one that I normally use is Zillow. So I'll go there. And it wants to know an address or a neighborhood or a zip code. So I'll just put in a Waterloo zip code, 50702. Oops. Let me see here, 50702. That's actually my zip code. So these will maybe be homes near where I live. Uh, what times, types of homes? I want ones that are for sale. And so here you go, you have a, a map. These are all kinds of different homes. You can click on them. So you can do it that way. You can look at these homes here and you can have fun here. This is actually a lot of fun. It's interesting to see uh, how much homes cost. You might be surprised. Um, sometimes the neighborhood can make a big difference in the price of the home. Um, some neighborhoods, uh, are more expensive than other neighborhoods. So location is important. Um, sometimes the number of bedrooms and bathrooms can make a big difference here. So this, I noticed this house here on Hawthorne, that's actually not far from where I live. I could walk here actually, probably. Uh, and then maybe, I'm not sure where this is, but there's only one bathroom. I kind of like the price of that home and I like the I like the way it looks there. It's a nice, that's a nice home. Um, 
this is a kind of a nice home here, but again, only one bathroom and the price there, that might be too expensive for my maximum monthly payment. I might be able to do it, but I don't know. So you're gonna need to uh, try some different things. <laughs> like if you try a really expensive house, you won't necessarily be able to afford it. So you might wanna play around with that. And before you start writing on your mortgage project, figure out what the total monthly payment is of the different homes to see if you can afford them or not. I'm not gonna tell you what you can and can't afford because that's what I want you to play with here. Um, I want you to see what kind of houses are in this area for the, the salary that you have, what kinds you can afford. So that, that makes it kind of um, more than just learning the, the math behind the mortgages, but learning kind of what it's like to buy a home. So, ooh, wow, that's kind of neat. I like this house. And look, two bathrooms. And I like that brick there. So I'm going to hit on this one. Let's do that. here. It should bring it up and let's see. Wow, that's such a kind of a neat looking home, isn't it? That's very unique. Um, hmm. So let's look. Oh, look at that hardwood floors. I like that. And then a fireplace. Wow, this looks really nice. Look at this, these cabinets in the kitchen. Very nice, very nice. There's a bathroom bedrooms. Is that a built-in bookshelf? I think it is. Is that what that is? Can I click on it, make it larger? I think that's like built-in bookshelves. Maybe not terribly deep. Oh, I like that. That is super cool. You know what? I'm going to go, go with this house. Anything with a built-in bookshelf, right? I don't know if you've seen my basement. Maybe I can show you that real quick. <laughs> I'll try to do this here. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go to um, stop share. And I don't want you to see me because I have not done my hair this morning, but I'm gonna bring this up so you can actually see my bookshelves and this upside down. Uh, there we go, look at that. Those are my bookshelves. And my son even has a bookshelf here. That's his bookshelf. I kind of told you about the ones that I found. I don't know if I told our class or not, but I have another one on the other side that's a really wide bookshelf that I got. Really good shape. So that's actually, if you're curious where I'm recording all this stuff, that's my basement there that I'm recording things in. It's also where my son's toys are and where he plays. So, um, okay, let's go back to the screen here and look at this home a little bit. I'm excited. This is a neat home. Okay, I'll go to screen share. And let's go back here. Uh, oops, let's see. Okay, boy, this, this is a nice home, huh? Look at the nice bathroom. Things are, have been re, redone in there. That's really nice. Okay, that's like the upstairs. This is a one and a half story. And you know what? I think that up there, that is, looks like it's in the one and a half story. They put a bathroom on the second floor, which makes this upper story a really nice place. To The parents could have live up here with that bathroom. Wow, this is like perfect. Oh, and a patio. Guys, I am really excited. So I don't know what that is, if that's the backyard. But uh, so you get the idea. So you can have fun shopping for a home here. I think there's an X. Oop. How do I, there we go. And so there we go. It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. And um, this is, uh, let's see, the price is $117,900. $117,900. So I'm going to come back here and we will say the list price is $117,900. And I am excited. I think this is going to be a neat home. I'd almost like to go, <laughs> go over and buy it for real. So, okay. Um, let's see here. So what this wants you to do is do what... Um, we just did find a home that you're excited about 
at a price you think you can afford. And then when, as soon as you know that for sure you can afford it, then what I need is I need a picture of that house. So you could either print out that one page, but you know, if we're using a photo, you could go back, let me go to the screen share and um, go back to our house. And you could go back and what I would do, let's see here. I would go back to the house and this page here, I don't know if I can move that, I, I better leave that, I don't wanna X that out. So, but go back to this page and just take a snapshot of this page right here and then that is what you can attach to your mortgage project, okay? Along with the, the actual project itself. So you don't actually have to print it out and I don't need all this, if you do print it out, I don't need all the information because depending on the realtor site, this thing can go on for a lot of different, they've got some sites that have a lot of other information on there. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do there. And, and then um, on the mortgage project, you will write out the list price and then it wants the amount mortgaged, right? And so the amount mortgaged is going to equal this list price. $117,900 minus 20% of the list price. Okay, so this is your down payment. So you're taking the list price, subtracting the down payment to get the amount mortgaged. So $117,900 minus 20%, $117,900. And it's going to be $94,320. And now this is the, the, the number you're going to use throughout the rest of the mortgage project, okay? Not the list price. Oh, there's one place where you will use the list price, and that's when you figure out the property tax. Because the property tax is a certain percentage of the value of the home and the project says use the list price as the value of the home, okay? So otherwise, everything else, you're gonna use the amount mortgage. This is the amount you're gonna borrow from the bank. So for us, it's $94,320. So in the next video, we're gonna learn about how to find the total monthly payment, which includes the um, property tax and the homeowner's insurance. So...